All right, guys. So here's the review of the Pagani Design PD1685. So this is a Speedmaster homage. I've reviewed a similar one to this before, but this is a newer version from Pagani Design. So there's going to be a few changes, and I'll talk about that in the review, actually. I'm going to do a little bit of a comparison, but not in massive detail. But anyway, before we get down to it, I just want to say up front, I was sent the watch for free. I'm not going to send it back, but you know the score by now. Doesn't mean I'm going to be holding back. If there's any issues with it, I will be saying it. Going to keep it 100% honest all the time, no matter what. Oh, also, before we get into it quickly, I did recently do a community post saying that I've started a Patreon now. I did say in that post I wasn't going to mention it in videos, but somebody did point out that people might not see that post. So I'll quickly mention it in this one video, but I won't be doing it again probably after that. So if you do want to check that out and you do want to support the channel, link will be down in the description, along with all the other links as always for the watches and stuff. So just have a look down there if you want to check it out and you want to support the channel. But don't feel like you have to, obviously. So now all that's out of the way, let's get down to the review and see what I thought of it. So here it is, you get it in the usual Pagani design box. Nothing fancy, but does the job. I'll quickly show you what else we get in here before we get to the watch. So you get a cleaning cloth. Put that to one side for a second. And then we've got the links I've taken out. So they're just push pins, not screws, but they work well enough. And you've got a nice bit of detail on those. They're actually little separate pieces. And you can probably see there. They are all individual, which is good. Then we've got the guarantee card, not signed, and the user manual. But, you know, really interested in all that. Let's get down to the actual watch. So, here it is. And I do really like the look of this one. They have a few different colours available. I'll probably leave pictures on screen so you can see them all. But I do really like this white dial with the black bezel. It's just a nice clean look. And you can see, if I zoom in, that nice wave pattern on the dial nicely done so obviously this is an homage like i said in the intro of the omega speedmaster but they've done a good job of it one thing i do really like is having the date down at the six o'clock as well because the previous one i've reviewed the older version of this i think it is actually added the three in fact i'll quickly zoom out and show you that so here it is compared to the previous version i had I can't remember the actual number of this one now, but I'll leave a link up here as always and probably link it down in the description as well. So you can see you've got the date window on the three on this one, and then on this one they've got it in the centre on the six, which I do really like for the symmetry. They've also changed a couple of bits, like the hands on this one were semi skeletonized, whereas this one is full skeletonized with just the tips more like the original. One of the big differences though that I noticed straight away is with this bracelet. So I'll quickly pop that down and show you the old one. This was a big issue I had with this. These end links jutting out like that just didn't look good when you were actually wearing the watch. So I did get onto Pagani about that after doing the review of this one. And it seems like they have actually been listening because on this one, they are totally different. So they actually curve over a lot more and then fall straight down. So it is a really nice change that. So you can see side by side, that one doesn't look very good, whereas that one looks a lot better. Another thing they've upgraded as well is the clasps. So again, I'll start with the previous one. So previously, you didn't have any micro adjust on that. And I had a little bit of an issue with closing this sometimes. So if you try pushing it like that, it sometimes take a few pushes. And I found the best way was to just like grab it from underneath as well, pop it in. But with the new one, they've added a few levels of micro adjust. They've actually shrunk the clasp down slightly as well. So it's a bit smaller. And they've added a nice chamfered polished edge. Again, just a little bit of detail. Just the little touches. And then it's just a lot easier to close this one. 
Although that being said, if you have it on the innermost micro adjust, like I have, that can hit a little bit sometimes. And it can occasionally feel like it's not shutting because it doesn't click in as much. But it does shut. I've tested it quite a bit. So it is securely shut, you just don't get that click that you would get if you had on the other two holes. Something to be aware of. Another slight issue actually, before we get onto the rest of the watch, is with these links. I don't know if it's because they're all separate pieces, so they don't quite measure up exactly the same, but when I was trying to remove one more from this, I couldn't actually get these pieces to fit together. Once I took that out, it didn't quite fit. So I've had to leave that in, so it doesn't actually sit exactly how I'd like it on rest. With the clasp being a little bit further around than I'd like, not quite in the center, but it's a minor issue. And that's probably not gonna be an issue for everyone. Probably just I got a bit unlucky with this one, but something to be aware of. So it's good to see that they are improving stuff anyway, from the previous version. One thing they haven't actually improved is this bezel. It's still not the best. The action isn't too bad, but there's still a little bit of play in it. It's a 90 click bezel, by the way, ceramic. It does line up, well, kind of, like I say, with it being a bit of play, you can get it to line up perfectly. But again, it's not as bad. That's the other one. I'll quickly bring that back in again. Because this had a hell of a lot of play in it. So at least they've improved it slightly. But they still need to add a little bit more to it I think. Just get it that little bit tighter. Because there's still a tiny bit of play. But like I say nowhere near as much as the previous version. So again step in the right direction. As for the rest of the case. Got a nice... Finishing on it, mixture of brushed and polished. Nice transitions between the two. Nice crown guards as well. That signed crown too. So I'll quickly open this up and show you the standard Pagani design display case pack with you know what movement, the NH35. And then we've got the specs around the outside, so 200 meter water resistance, stainless steel, and Pagani design. And then we've got solid end links there as well. So let's quickly test now whether we've got sapphire crystal. Using the trusty diamond selector thing. And yep, we have got sapphire crystal. Quickly test out the back. And that's just mineral, which you kind of expect really. Given the price of the watch, it's not too big a deal. So now quickly get onto the measurements. So I've got a thickness of 14 mil, so it's not the slimmest of watches. Diameter of 42, lug width of 20. And then we've got a lug to lug of 49. So despite it being a little bit on the chunky side, and having a 42 diameter, the lug to lug is actually quite wearable. So before I show you what it's like on wrist, let's quickly show you what the loom's like. So we've got a little bit of showing up already, but as always, charge it up. Give it a fair chance. And as always, just bear in mind that my camera doesn't actually quite pick up the true brightness of this once it's fading a little bit, but we'll get onto that when we talk about it in a second. So there it is. And you can tell straight away we've got a really nice loom bezel. 
which was a nice surprise actually. I wasn't expecting that. It does look good. I don't think I've seen a Pagani that's got a fully loom bezel before. I could be wrong, but I don't think I have. So I do like that. And I do like that it matches as well. Don't really like it when they do a mixture of two different kinds of loom. So it's nice to see this, what I suspect might be C3, something like that, with that green kind of colour. But you can probably tell straight away that it's a little bit difficult to see those hands with it just being the tips that are loomed, because they're skeletonized. Yeah, it looks good in the day, it's matching the original, but perhaps they could have added a bit more there, or possibly loomed the edges maybe. They definitely needed to do something, because it's not the best, not the most legible. But as always, it's brighter than it is on camera. So at the moment, it's still pretty legible with the naked eye, and it is brighter than this. But it's decent, it's not the best, but it's definitely a step in the right direction for Pagani. It's usable. So all that's left to do now is show you what it's like on wrist. So this is what it looks like on my 7 inch wrist. And like I said, with these new end links, it does wear a lot nicer. Just conforms to the wrist better, looks better. Overall, really nice improvement from the previous one. So I do like that. And I do like the chamfered details on that slightly smaller clasp as well. And again, with the micro adjust, it just helps to get a better fit. And it doesn't wear as large as the thickness would suggest. I think it looks quite good on my 7 inch wrist. Those curved lugs do help. So it is just a really good looking piece, I think. Really nice cohesive design, obviously not original. But it does look good. Really nice detailing on the dial. Everything finished well, everything aligned. And again, I do like the symmetry of having that date window at the 6. So if you're interested in picking one up, as always, links are down in the description. But that's it for this one, guys. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.